Hello, Year 7s. Lesson 3 in our energy booklet. Let's just go through um, what we saw at the last point in Lesson 2. Um, electrical appliances that transform electrical energy into useful movement, sound, heat and light. Let's just check that we got the right answers or some right answers. Heat. Let's have a look at this. Toaster, kettle, electric oven, electric heater. Um, curling tongs nice light light bulbs tvs mobile phones etc sound energy tvs mobile phones um loudspeakers uh, uh playstations that type of thing and movement energy um a whisk a drill a fan uh, an electric car so let us move on now During this lesson, you will definitely need a calculator. So if you need to pause this and get a calculator, do so. I shall move on. Um, how much uh, energy do electric appliances use? All electrical appliances uh, that you can use have a power rating. That tells us how much energy they change or convert every second. The units for power is the what or what um, you probably know people that are stronger physically and weaker than you well it's exactly the same with appliances some appliances use a lot of electricity whereas others use hardly any at all we're going to look at several appliances and measure their power rating in watts what I'd like you to do is have a guess at which one has the most and the least power hungry can you put the appliances into the correct order don't be afraid to get this wrong okay so for example we've got here a sharp 60 inch tv now 60 inches is five foot and it goes from one side of the TV to the other corner that's how TVs are measured and when you buy a TV a new TV uh, it will come with an energy certificate a power rating and the power rating for this appliance in watts is 87 watts these are the other appliances that we're going to be looking at top left going from left to right light toaster sorry light kettle toaster cd player hair dryer now this is what i would like you to do put in those other five appliances into your table along here and then what I want you to do is make your prediction which appliance is the most powerful if you think that the hairdryer is the most powerful you write in number one here if you think the TV is number two the second most powerful you write it in here if you think the kettle is number three write it in the toaster number four the CD player number five and the lamp number six now I've just made those numbers up you have got to put in your own values which do you think is number one the most power hungry then which is the least powerful which uses the least amount of electricity that will be number six remember that our sharp tv had a power rating of oh, you remember 87 watts so i'm going to pause the video for a second i want you to write down your numbers one to six in this column here this column right here now in actual fact using a 
special meter called a power meter I have written down the power values for all of these appliances now so I'm going to pause the video in a second what I want you to do is put them into their actual rank order this is this column here I'm going to give you a clue the most powerful was the kettle at 2200 watts that will be number one complete that column now these of course were the values that you should have had second place hair dryer third place toaster fourth place the TV surprising one that the lamp was number five and the poor old CD player was last in number six I am now going to add the cost of using each appliance for one hour okay can you please add in the cost for using each appliance for one whole hour it shouldn't surprise you that the kettle because it was the most energy hungry costs the most amount to use 30.8 pence if you had a kettle on for one hour whereas the CD player is 0.2 pence to play it for one hour that's one fifth of 1p that's not very much money now then using this information in the table can you please answer questions one to four I'm going to pause this you have a go at the answers see if you come up with the same answers as me I wonder if you got the right answers question one which appliances turn electrical energy into movement that will be your let me think now movement that will be the hair dryer that's got a fan inside it and the CD player that spins the CD around so that's your answer for question one write those in question two name an appliance that makes useful sound useful sound has to be the TV and it has to be the CD player question three name an appliance that produces wasted sound energy definitely the kettle and definitely the hair dryer that makes a right racket and then question four what have the three appliances that use up the most amount of energy all got in common they were the hair dryer the toaster and the kettle what do they all convert electricity into they convert electrical energy into heat that's the answer to question four okay now these questions here questions five six seven and eight um they're not easy right but i'd like you to have a go at questions five six and seven on your own i will give you the answers in just a moment okay here we go question five got to be on your toes here um, the cost of electricity electricity bills need paying uh, use your cost per hour figures in pence to work out the following include your workings so the CD player is on for six hours what is the cost well the cost is it's on for six hours but how much is the cost per hour let's just go back up the CD player costs 0 0.2 pence per hour so it's six hours times 0 0.2 that gives us a grand total of 1.2p question six a kettle boils for four minutes what's the cost oh you've got to be careful here 
you've been given the cost of the kettle per hour. Now, if you go up to your table, you'll find that it's 30.8 pence per hour, but it's not been on for an hour. It's only been on for four minutes. How many minutes in an hour? 60. So 30.8 multiplied by four divided by 60 will give us 2.05 pence. Check these answers on your calculator, please. And the last one that I'm gonna do is question seven. If you watch TV for four hours a day, what's the cost over one year? Wow. So the cost is going to be how much pence is it per hour? Have a look at your table. It's 1.2p. Multiply that by four hours gives you a daily cost of 4.8p but it is asking for the cost per year how many days are there in a year 365 so the cost is 4.8 multiplied by 365 gives us 1000